There we go. Fish on. Got him. Yeah. There you go, dude. Oh. Let's go. Well, that's huge, dude. That's so much fish. This is such a friendly lake. Everybody's so friendly. Stopping by. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Man, a pressure cooker is steaming. You get him. You get him. I'll hold the camera. You get him. Oh, oh, dude, dude. That oh my lord. Holy slap, bro. Oh my slap. I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is the Seven Day Water World Survival Challenge. Waterworld Survival Challenge is brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. Check out the link in the description below for them and the Waterworld Survival Challenge official gear video. If you're just tuning in, check out that link in the description below for the playlist for the Waterworld Survival Challenge. You're going to want to start this series from the beginning. And now, part two of day five. Hey, wasn't that magnet a little bit bigger about five minutes ago? That, this is a different magnet. So where's the other? It's uh, at the bottom. I didn't. <laughs> didn't have enough I mean, trying to use a magnet fishing to find the lure that Chris lost yesterday. So I put a piece of line on and I let it go out and just test to see if it was long enough. And when it got to the end of the line, it ripped it right out of my hands. And it's now the other the fishing magnet is at the bottom, the good big one. So I see if I can find it. I might have to dive down and and look for it. Oh. <laughs> What's up? I can't go down. <laughs> I can't see anything shiny. No. Try one more time. Yeah, oh, hell good. He came back up over here. Ow, oh, that hurts my ears so much. Something feels a little bit dangerous with you swimming around all these lines under all of those <laughs> everything. Was floating the bank line floats no way so I was like fishing around and I looked over and I'm like wait a minute that's not my piece of bank line that's an end of a piece of bank line here and uh, so so much for a magnet fish and it was look that's pulling straight up straight from down straight down yeah I think I'm ready to go fishing again and not uh, not going after that lure no All right, heading out for one last go at the big bass. We decided after thinking about this afternoon, what are we gonna do with ourselves? We haven't caught anything over three pounds, much less five pounds. What are we getting? Hope, <laughs> hopefully something, maybe two five range, three, that would be great. Let's do this. Good, still floating perfectly. Yeah. Right, we got a buoy and some rocks. That could mean fish. Let's find out. Alright, got the spinner bait with the uh, swim tail. 
that we got the other day from the airdrop. Oh, love how far this thing casts. <laughs> the mono on it just casts like a dream. Oh, stop! What is going on? Oh no! Never catch anything with this. It. Useless. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. That feels like a good one. Wow. It's either a good one or a fighty. Like, whoa. Oh, he's going for the weed. Here, I got you. I'm going to get the trolling motor. Come on. Don't worry. Just, hey, just oh, shoot. Don't worry. That's our, no, I'm just saying, I'll shoot you. I'm saying he wrapped himself around these upper weeds here. I don't know if I, he's free of them or if he's... That's a good one. Yeah, he wrapped himself. Oh, that's a good, bat. That's, a good bat. that's a good one. Okay. Is he free? I don't see him. I don't see him. Oh, he's back him towards him. the weeds. He's trying to get into the. Got him. Yeah. There you go, dude. Oh. Let's go. Oh man. Oh wow. That's got to be the personal best of this so far. That's got to be the. Ooh. Two seven five. Two seven five. That's what I'm thinking. 275.1. Oh, don't. <laughs> I, you just got prices right. It. Here we go. Moment of truth. I'm going to put any light weights in him now. I'm watching. <laughs> two, seven, uh, 287. Two, I can't even say it. 2.87. 2.87. Mm -hmm. Woo! I prices rated you and, and one, one for it. Yeah. Went with left of my mondo worm. You destroyed it. That was I shorted it. Those are those hooks that we got the other day in the airdrop. And kind of a, a neat thing for me, or if you care too. The, uh, I had the football jig with the Sakra on there. He seemed to hit it. And then I cast a couple more times. I felt like it wasn't working. And I kept working that same spot. Switched to something smaller. Threw it in there and boom. There he was. Had it. That felt good. That was... Boom! Yeah, I know. It's from off of the shore. Boom! 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 Now I'm just being dorky. But it's like good when you figure something out like that. You 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 learn something new about fishing. Uh, uh, fishing is just so satisfying to me for some reason. It's uh, it's just the the discovery and uh, the smell, of the soft plastics, and just getting blown up. Ah. Uh, so good. And just a small custom lure, guys, on Facebook. They make really beautiful little stuff. And some of my big stuff. We got all kinds of like eggs and uh, lots of little trouty lures and little great little trout grubs I haven't had a chance to try. I can't seem to find trout spots. I can't wait to play around with these during ice fishing. It's a little teeny like stone flies and stuff. It may work. Okay, no, it does work really well. That's what's supposed to happen. So the because of the cavity underneath, the hook go like that on top with a little teeny barbless like, and we got our little.
Heck yeah. It's not ready. There we go. <laughs> First bit. First bit. Oh. Whoa, these bins all tore. Just in time for dinner. You ready for some chowder? Sounds good to me. Yeah? Let me get the chowder maker. Oh! It's all dirty. Oops, I might have wasted a little bit there. Man, look at the size of the chunk of meat on that guy. That was Chris's personal best there, at least out of this lake on White Perch. to make some feel like I'm having a cup of coffee this evening <sighs> we got our pile of fish oh gross there's some fish oh. water on the plate well that's huge dude that's so much fish that's the beauty of the pressure cooker is you don't have to cook your stuff on the burner you just drop the pressure bomb <laughs> into the probably shouldn't call it a bomb that'll like throw people off on wanting to get one <laughs> which we do now have them available on fowlersmakerimagemischief.com don't go chasing waterfalls stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to i don't want no scrub scrub is a guy that lives at his mom's house. I don't know. Somewhere in there, there's a song I know. <laughs> Let's see. We had living on the ice. So what? What we needed one for this series. Living on the tote float. <laughs> you can't help yourself from drowning. Drowning. We're living on the tote float. It, it has no influence whatsoever from living on the edge. I made up that song wholly originally the first go around. Totes and floats. More of a rap song for this one. <laughs> yeah. Totes and floats, boats and moats. Bass and perch. Skipping church. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> My mom and dad took the kids to Vermont, so I had this time to do this. And I had one small window before I go away for an entire month on a TV show. This will give me the opportunity to leave something behind. Just just in case I don't make it. <laughs> it's I'm not even it's not even a survival TV show. <laughs> I'm just going to Georgia. <laughs> Or am I going to Georgia? Where am I going? And I'll be there for a month and stuck on doing stuff and things until I can tell you what. We're gonna throw people off because if you do put this in there, it's not. It's actually it's actually a music show, and I'm gonna be singing uh, I have, uh, as a talent. So it's definitely not a masked music show. I'm definitely not wearing a mask uh -oh. and going to sing on TV. Oh. What? It's not that part of the show yet. Even in black, I need some help. What? I say, do it. Oh my god! What? I, I'm pretty sure one of these totes has. I don't know, it could either be the shape of the float or one of these totes has has a little water in it. Did you do 30 Nights in Canada? Yeah. That's our bigger series, 30 Day Survival you Challenge. On YouTube. Yeah? <laughs> you want to say hi to your friends? Are you like. So oh yeah, strong? put them in the video. Hi. What's your name? Levi, you got a shout out for your friends? More visitors. 
It's been fun. This is such a friendly lake. Everybody's so friendly stopping by, paying a visit. It's like, I, I want a lake house out here somewhere. So if anybody knows of any property for sale, let me know, leave it in the comments below. <laughs> All right, time to make the chowder. We started chopping stuff up and visitors started showing up. We started socializing and lost track of time here. And now it's dark. We got our perch light in the water. Maybe we do one more night of just slaying some perch for the fun of it. Put them back now that we don't need them. Maybe save two for breakfast. No, we all have plenty of this for breakfast. I don't think I'm gonna chop the fish up. I'm just gonna throw them right in. Everything that I chop up can just go into the pot. Four cloves of garlic, perch. I'm gonna crisp up some bacon and sprinkle that on the top when it's done. I love that on chowder. That makes it so delicious. So I'm gonna splurge tonight three whole potatoes. It's gonna be so good. I think I'm getting, my eyes are bigger than my stomach here. It's gonna be quite the fish chowder. I'll be able to eat it tomorrow for breakfast and then tomorrow evening and share some with my girls because they'll be back. Oh, the, I got some cream and then some pickles. Put some... <laughs> I just see it if you're listening. <laughs> Doesn't look like as much stew in there as I thought there would be. It's, I mean, I got uh, butter, a little more butter. I usually use milk. <gasps> well, we gotta use cream. Nah. And we'll put a little bit of water in it. Let's see. Put on your lid and your handle. These pressure cookers are so much fun. It's so easy to cook stuff in them. You just get them, go get them on the fire, and boom. Well, <laughs> I know. <hopefully> not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peanut gallery. Hopefully not. Yes, hopefully. I mean, boom, like bazam, boom, boom. It's done. You know. Oh wait, wait. I forgot the most important ingredient. Where's the adobo? Oh, ta-da! We found it. Adobo, the most important ingredient if you're gonna eat possum, raccoon, and all that other stuff, but also great on popcorn. I'm gonna put a little of that in there. Adobo, perch, chowder. Boil, boil, something, something. That's as simple as it is. Just throw some stuff in there, put it on the fire. If it turns out gross, just don't do that again. <laughs> Fire's looking a little on the weak side. We have to go to shore. Break some branches off. Need more fire. Oh, Chris is gonna go get more twigs. He's on it. Now remember, the higher up, the drier up. <laughs> Doesn't that look like such a cool shot, though? The smoke almost looks. Oh, I'm ruining it with my light. Look at that. Because of the nightlight for the uh, fish, the smoke looks green. That's so cool. Well, that thing's cooking. I'm gonna roast up some homemade coffee. Bottom's kind of like waffly on the inside, so you're gonna stir it around, roast your beans. It was my goal to try and do this every day, but we had so much stuff going on. I was a little nervous to try it. Check it out. Green. Beans, they really are as, as green as that. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna roast them until they smell like coffee. And then when they're done, they pour it out of the handle. So I'm gonna fill this. Might work. Okay, there's no instructions. But there is a little spoon that big. What do you think that means? Oh, there's, well, maybe that's instructions. It's not my language. I think that probably means you're supposed to do one spoon at a time. You know 
what? Forget that. They all fit in there. I didn't get this good at everything I do without taking risks. <laughs> oh, he keeps moving it. Do I have to keep moving it? Yeah. Ah, son of a brisket. I need the oven's oven's mitt. This is what I call oven's mitts. For just three easy payments of $59.99. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's some skins or something that are coming off of them. There's our roasted beans. Oh man, does that smell Dude. good or what? Dude, eat one of those beans. Yeah? Mmm. Nailed it, I think. Oh. No burnt flavor. Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm probably not gonna sleep until next week, but <laughs> wow. Now we need to grind it. Normally Chris does it like a savage with a drill but I'm gonna do it by hand. Wow, okay, what There's happened? Of beans, huh? I filled that thing. They get bigger? They must get bigger. Cause I filled this and then I put it into the pot and then I roasted them and now I have all those beans and this. They've doubled in size. Good to know. This Dude, is I think you nailed the dark roast, my blackout coffee. And, uh, oh, so medium roast means I, I, if I had made it, well, that would have had more. So we might have made a dark roast. We made our first dark roast. Oh, that is so much, that is kind of more flavorful. Yeah. yeah. Like, I might have over roasted these. I think they'll still be good. Would you look at that? He's an eighth of a way there, folks. Give me the drill. Go ahead and cut in. Give me the one, drill. <laughs> one hour later. <laughs> Oh, smells like a burnt cappuccino, dark roast. I think we got it though. Whether it's gonna be super good or just interesting, I do not know. Let me save that if it's any good for the morning, the last, the other part of the roasted pot. All right, our pressure cooker is steaming. Fire is keeping our good and going. Coffee is done. A little cup for myself. We gotta drink it now because we need to put our chowder in those. Oh, Chris got another one. He got one on his tip up, his ice fishing tip up right at the edge of the dock. Oh, the stew looks delicious. Looks good. I'd say it's done. So from this little guy the pot yeah have that from there start to finish to there <laughs> trying out my coffee it's really smooth whoo this thing stinks just reach your hand in there and look feel for the slimiest thing I don't like to feel around for eels. <laughs> He's in there. Just go get him. You get him. You get him. I'll hold the camera. You get him. I got the camera already. You're the star of the show. <laughs> Cut a little eel. Mm -hmm. I bet you that would catch a bass. That makes some great live bait. Mm -hmm. Some little baby yellow perches. Eating little yeah, like why do they need to eat any of this stuff that Ew, I got a mayfly in mine. Alright. Let's try some soup. It looks extremely creamy, chunky, juicy, deliciousness. Well, there we go. I got some fish. Got a tater. Oh, there we go. Peppers and onions. The creme de la creme. Just topping it up with a little bit of crunchy bacon. Lord, thank you for the food. Bless this food to our body. In 
Jesus name. Amen. Chris has got to be at work first thing in the morning, so I've got to get him to the dock and get him out of here. He's got to go back to the real world. I'm going to go get the girls and bring them out here. Oh my goodness. Oh my. That fish <laughs> is just like melts in your mouth. What? It's gross? No, nailed it. Nailed it? I was gonna say, that was a weird look. It really does, guys. Just melts in your mouth. If you got this in a restaurant, like, you're happy, right? Hmm. Maybe somebody would be like, that wasn't Haddock, was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? You know, they'd be, they wouldn't be able to say for certain until you finally told them. They'd be like, I didn't think it was Haddock, but what was it? They'd be a real fish expert if they could tell that from Haddock. I didn't have a lot of soups until I had gotten married. Mm -hmm. And Jamie, um, back in the day, when I was married showed me how awesome soups could be. So as a kid, I hated soups. All soups and stews. And ironically enough... Now that's what you're... Well, I go and spend 87 days eating fish head soup, which is, <laughs> most would say, is probably the most disgusting of soups. I didn't have a problem with it. Ooh. Just found a big mayfly. Let's see if I can catch a fish with that. We gotta start our own podcast. Talking about fishing. <laughs> Talking about fish talk. Fish talk. Oh. Fishing and talking. Today on Fish Talk, we're going to be talking about white, white perch. perch. <laughs> How to catch them? Simple techniques such as live bait, plastic worms, and jig heads. As you can see, I used a circle hook, so the removal of the hook was quite easy. It was hooked right in the mouth and didn't even choke it. Mm. That's a smaller size hey, white perch. he's dripping in my soup. <laughs> a fish slap. <laughs> what is that from, wasn't there? I don't know. We'll let him go. Goodbye, fish. Thanks for joining us on <laughs> Fish Talk with fish Talk. Chris and Fowler. Oh my goodness. Two cups of that. I'll sleep well. You ready? Oh. I think I can get him untangled. Oh, he's untangled. Nice. And flipped him. I still got around your line or something going on here. Nice. Another beautiful perch. Wow, these guys are feisty. Another beautiful fish. Snagged a mayfly off the table. Threw it on the jig head here. This may be what one of the things they're feeding on is the fish are going around all nuts down there. Either these dying on the surface and sinking down or, you know, if this was a trout place, the surface of this water would just be popping and blowing up. The hatches have been unbelievable. And probably they're nymphs that are swimming around down there underneath the light and stuff. Let's see if we can catch something on this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is this thing wrong? Is this, Is this thing, thing wrong? wrong? Fish on. Reeling, reeling. Big fish. Big Whoa. fish. Big fish, bro. Big crappy. My pee pee. Oh, or, that's well, you landed it, but. No, you uh, landed it. I just, I just set the hook. Oh, oh, dude. Dude, that is nuts. an epic. I, that was a huge crappie. Oh my lord. Holy slab, bro. Oh, bro. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my slab. Oh, boys. Wow. That is, it. jeez, I don't know if the camera does that justice. That is a freaking giant. Yeah.
I know it's just a crappy guys and it's an evasive species, but this is only my second crappy and I that's it's crappy fisherman. Is it okay that's, to say this? Can you yeah. leave it in the comments? Is that can we let's get a quick measurement? I think this has a scale on it or not a scale, but it, Yeah, the cooler has a scale on it. A scale. It has a the thermometer. Okay. Thirteen it's like thirteen and a quarter. I mean Northern Maine crappy, that's... Oh, oh, oh. A little linker. Nice! Mayflies work as well. <laughs> Well, that's it for tonight. Quite the eventful five days of building this, moving onto the water, and spending five nights. Tomorrow morning will be the. We'll have spent five whole nights. And tomorrow I gotta pack it up. But before I do, I'm gonna go get the girls and bring them out here and spend the day out here with them. It looks like pickle juice. You guys ready to go swimming? Yeah! See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Fowler out.